All right, guys, today this is another Brute Shoot, Coach Adrian here, um, and we're going to talk about Julian Alcarez today. Uh, just a little background information. Julian, we've only interacted maybe like twice, um, probably all through Miranda. I work with Miranda on staff, and, you know, my wife and Miranda have a previous relationship. They know each other pretty well. Um, but we're going to talk about the decision that he made immediately. He actually probably made it before that, but immediately after the moment that he heard that he made the cut to make it to the CrossFit Games, which is going to be his second individual appearance at the CrossFit Games, um, to turn it down, right? And to actually hand it off to someone else and allow them to have the opportunity to compete, to be one of the 40 fittest men in the entire world. Um, there were a lot of people that were like, wow, that's crazy. I can't believe he's doing that. Um, you know, oh, it shouldn't work out that way. And I don't even know if I'm completely on board with allowing someone to replace him. But we'll, we'll talk about that on another brute shoot maybe. Um, the bottom line is he worked really, really hard to qualify for that position. Why would he not accept it? And many of you already know it's because he's about to become a father, right? And I just became a father myself. So I can literally lift him up on a pedestal and be like, wow, that is an amazing decision. It takes a lot of work to be a dad, to balance work, to truly be able to spend time with your children, to, to nourish them, to love them, to just even spend quality time doing nothing with them, right? Um, and when you're a CrossFit Games athlete, specifically individually, you really don't have a lot of free time. And granted, there are dads out there that make it work, um, but what's the balance look like in their lives? And what does also the commitment level to trying to be truly one of the 40 fittest men in the world look like in their lives as well? So I wanna address not that he made the decision to be a dad, because I think we can all agree like that was probably the best decision that he could have made. But why turn down the CrossFit Games when you already qualified, right? Couldn't he have just showed up in less shape? Couldn't he have spent all the quality time with Miranda, been there for the birth of the baby, like done all the right things that a great father could do and still show up at the Games, maybe a little less in shape than at regionals, but then at least show face. Maybe he's even, he's a heck of an athlete, so maybe he shows up and he gets top 30, right? So why did he turn down the opportunity? I'm going to applaud him for turning down the opportunity because he wasn't going to be able to show up to win the CrossFit Games. At the elite level, when you're pursuing something that you make sacrifices for, that you might even be compromising money made or hours spent with your, with your loved ones, your children, your, your significant other, your wife, whoever it is, when you're making that kind of commitment, do the sport the respect to show up to win. I think Julian literally gave our sport the nod that it deserves, right? And I think that he did so clearly to be a father, but also to show respect to the level that the CrossFit Games athletes are now at. So he knew that if he couldn't show up to try to win or throw the best that he possibly had into the field of competition, that it was at least his spot earned the respect to hand it to someone that potentially could. And I want you guys to just step up and think about what that looks like for you. You know, everything in your life right, whether you're giving it 70%, 65%, like what could you cut out? What could you turn down to be a better version of you? And maybe it's even in the sport of fitness, I don't know. Maybe it's things that you're making compromises for in other areas of your life, like relationships. Maybe you're just an okay coach because you're always thinking about training uh, in the next hour instead of focus on the members that you're currently connected with at the time, right? So maybe you're giving them that 80%. So what does that look like for you and how can you be more like Julian and make this decision to be willing to step out of the limelight, to step back in order to have more, in order to give 100% to the things that you truly should be focused on. This week, step back, try to be a little bit more like Julian, see how it plays out.